Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this episode because I was unaware of what happened after I saved the game. So when I went to go do stuff off screen, well, I was hit with a little bit of an oddity. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So if you try to go back the way you came, which is what I tried to do... Is it just me, or do you get the feeling there's something funny going on up ahead? Let's follow the path by the cabin. Yeah. It only gets worse, sadly. Nice. So, if we come over here... Gah! Somebody smashed up the bridge! How are we meant to get across now? Guess we'll have to find another way. Let's look around. Can we actually go in here? Small scale. Chunks of copper ore. And what is this chest? Economies of scale. Uh, he takes a look inside. I learn how to make scale shields. Learns how to make scale armor. Nice! Alright, good shit. Sniff, sniff. Huh. Well, nothing going on here. Well, it looks like our icon's telling us to head this way anyways. Might as well go see what's down here. Fuck it. The mark on Rezobasso's hand is glowing. It seems to be responding curious to the curiously shaped plant. Hold your hand out to it. upon my most devilish trick yet. What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. 
I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Now, I'm going to be honest. I kind of deviate a little bit here, and I need to go fix this real quick. So, we're going to do a cut, and then I will be back a level higher, a little bit smarter, and uh, continuity will be restored. So, uh, yeah, sit tight. Nice, and welcome back everybody to more Dragon Quest XI. I decided I was going to go out of my way and craft myself a few pieces of gear since we just recently obtained those recipes, so I said screw it, why not? Why not craft ourselves something worthwhile and give myself some new armor? And because of that, we actually ended up with something called a flourish, which allows us to strike two verticals like so. It didn't turn out nearly as well as I hoped. I got a plus one, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Actually, what we are going to do is I'm going to rework an item. And we're going to go into my equipment bag and we're going to rework something I have. Thinking of the scale armor. To rework this. Yes. Screw it, why not? Nice. Perfection, bitches. Hey, we reworked it into a plus three. All right, nice stuff. So let's go into our equipment. We're going to find my scale armor and my shield. Boom. We are now fully equipped and ready for basically anything. So let's rest. We're going to rest until uh, noon. All right, so you heard Eric. We got to go figure out what's going on with the with this uh, crazed imp that turned this poor man, this woodworker, into a damn dog. Not cool, my dude. Not cool. Very much not cool. So we'll head down this way. This appears to be the way it went for when it... Uh, it found an empty treasure chest and decided to do something to it. So if I find a treasure chest, I probably shouldn't open it. Are we going to open it? We're not really going to open it, are we? Like, we know it's a trap, right? supposed to be 
shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B, then. Take this! Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just... Ooh, cheeky devil! Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! <laughs> I mean, feel free to try. You're not gonna succeed. But feel free to try. I'm more than happy to see you try. Heaven help me, you deserve a chance to try. You're not gonna win. But you know what though, that's not important. The important thing is you tried. Nice. Yeah, every time you try to act, dickhead, you're gonna take damage. Just try sleeper hit. Yo, he's actually taking a lot of damage, too. Wow, turn economy's really doing this dude the dirty right now. This poor man is taking a hit every time he even attempts to go for something. Ah, eh, serves you right, though. Oh, he's not taking, um... Okay. Ah, I'll, I'll save it. It's fun. There we go. He's down. Who else wants some? <laughs> Damn. This can't be happening. Looks like the joke's on me this time. Hey there, you two. our pal the pooch <laughs> not anymore thanks to you I'm back to my old self I'm Flint the woodcutter by the way and I owe you more than words can possibly say how can I ever repay you it's funny you should ask we were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up it would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing pyramid. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life of some kind. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil. 
he said. A piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got grey hair, too. But I can't imagine that. So not only are you the Lumine, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Are you sure? I, don't, I wouldn't mind sitting here talking about how amazing I am. Because heaven knows I am amazing. Anyways, with that being done, everybody, it's time for us to press on with our adventure. You can't just sit around and do nothing all day long. That was a surprisingly very easy boss fight compared to what I'm used to, and it looks like we got all new enemies to fight now. Yeah, not much here for me now. You're going to carry them. Uh, how is my health? Oh, we're full health. Shit. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll just look around. Fuck it. Oh, he, he turned right the fuck around. He was not having my shit. Oh. Oh, I'm not even having my shit. Jesus. The experience is nice, though. A little extra experience never hurt anybody. And on top of that, I kind of need the experience anyways. The more powerful I am, the easier I'm going to make this adventure on myself. Because I don't... I haven't played enough of this game to know if Dragon Quest... If this game actually gets any harder. All I know is that Dragon Quest VIII was a real shit kicker later on. So I'm just going to go by my experiences with that game to judge, to uh, shape how I experience this one. Just seems like a better idea, really. All right. Oh shit, they brought three of them this time. Holy shit. Da 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 The whap. The whap. Oh, you didn't die. Now you did. A hardy hide. All right. See if there's anything else just sitting about out here. Never hurts to go looking for items. These guys aren't necessarily going to pick a fight with me anyways. So it just kind of leaves me free to, to look for shit. Oh, you, you chasing me. Okay. You chasing me, though. Oh, just you. Oh, you... Oh, you just have a death sentence. That's all. That wasn't like a threat. You're not really a threat. You just have a death sentence. That's that's all that was. That 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 was that was you don't value your life, so you're going to have me end it for you. I mean, fair enough. I'll do it. I'm not I ain't proud. I'll do it. As as the ordained hero of this adventure, I am more than happy to do the things that people, that many people just don't want to do. I want to see what's through here, because this doesn't lead me directly to the exit. 
but it takes me around that it takes me towards the exit and if there's other items here I'd like to find them Note to self, look up what pink pine does, because I keep picking that shit up. I'd like to know what that does. If you do insist on telling me in the comments, don't be dicks about it, please. Is that too much to ask? Appreciate it. Just gonna throw that just gonna throw that out there. Although now I've probably just elicited more dicks in the comments, so. Oh well. You live some, you win some, you lose some. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, why are you why are you running at me? Like you ran at me. You were ready. Sham hat switch. Hat switch. Oh. A ham sandwich. A ham are you a ham sandwich but with a hat? I mean if that's what you are, I, I appreciate the joke. It's actually kinda clever. It's at least a little clever. Like, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the joke. I don't immediately see other items, so I'm just going to assume there are none. And, uh, mosey my ass out of this forest. Back out to the Halidor region. Although, I think we're near home, aren't we? <gasps> we are near home. I am very, very close to home. We are insanely close to home. Time to get home. Ah, uh, thank goodness this isn't an Ubisoft game. I can run all I like. Huh, I guess they didn't find the town? Hard to imagine they didn't find it. Wouldn't have been that hard to find. It's rare to see travelers here in Cobblestone. Hope you enjoy your stay, though we don't have an inn or anything, I'm afraid. But what we do have is Amber. She's always hospitable, and I'm sure she'll be able to... Excuse me? Well, what do you mean? I, I live here. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm from this town. Uh, that guy talked to me like I don't, he must just be an NPC, right? There's no, there's no feasible way he doesn't know who I am, right? That's literally impossible. I'm from this town. This is my home. How about you? Huh. Well, I, I mean, I'm supposed to come here, right? I guess I'll go home? Make sure you watch out for young Rezobasso. He's always up to mischief for other. Apparently he played a trick on a poor woman in the shop and now she's on a warpath. Excuse me? What are you talking about? I played a trick on a poor woman at the shop. I didn't do anything to her. I don't even know the lady.
that cheeky so-and-so, you'll never believe his latest trick. He hid a, f a frog in the water jug, and when I sh took the lid off, it jumped out at me. I almost died of shock, and that's not all. I went and dropped the jug, and now the floor is soaking wet. When I catch that Rezo Bass, I'll have his guts for gators. Eh? What's that? Your Rezo Bass, you say? Oh, don't be so silly. There's no use covering up for him, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? I'm... I'm Rezo Bass. How do you not know me? I'm Rezo Basso. What the fuck happened? I wasn't gone that long. What the actual hell's going on here? Fine, I'll go home. Shit, you guys are just gonna fucking treat me like a bunch of dickheads. I'll just go back to my house. My mother knows me. She loves me, I think. Hmm. All right, mama. Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. What are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. I'm sorry, what? Who do you think you are? Waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not. Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. What? What? Is this town been like reverted back to like years ago or some shit? What the hell's going on? Oh Christ. What the hell? What the actual hell is going on? I live here. Like this is my home. I left here not that long ago. Christ all fucking mighty. All right. Who are you, kid? That's the first big question. And second, why do people think you're me? My headscarf. I'll never get it back. What? You're... G Gemma? What the, what the fuck? Gemma, what? But that can't be right. Oh wait, I get it. That's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. <laughs> but that what? What do they do? Turn back time on the town? Can they even do that? Is that even a thing? I have no idea where this girl went to. I really don't. Who the fuck is Chalky? I don't even know who Chalky is. They said follower, but it's not like the game pointed me in the right direction anyways. Or maybe I'm just dumb. That's possible. Oh, she ran back over here. Okay, I, I just went around in circles for no goddamn reason.
All right, game. What the hell is going on? How in the world have you managed to do this? The fuck is happening? What spell was cast? What kind of illusion is this? What? That's me? <coughs> hey, Grandad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off, and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be happy that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. grown-ups to talk. All right. <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's me. It's me, Granddad. It's me. It's it's good to see you again. Didn't think I'd see you under these circumstances, though. that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh, oh but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grow up. You'll be good now, lad. Waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me right. Bye now. But how? I'm so confused. How did this even happen? I don't know guys, I have no idea how to how to take this. This is really kind of uh, spooky. Wasn't expecting them to pull this one over on me when I started this game, that's for damn sure. 
So was was he actually there the whole time, or was that like also an illusion? Gemma's head scars back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> if they just thought I got off their own, they can play now. Well, we could play, um... Okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is way worse. Oh, no. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? The worst fucking kind. Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing. And so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and... yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. You know, I kind of knew this would might this might actually happen, but I didn't actually think they were just going to haul off and just burn the place down. Like me, yeah, sure, maybe maybe hold the town ransom. But burn it down? Why? What purpose does this serve? This serves no purpose. There's no reason to do this. Uh, well, my home's gone. That's fantastic. I hope mom's fine. Of course they burnt everything down. Everything's gone. What purpose does this serve? This doesn't... Like... What, you're punishing them for looking out for me? Give me a break. I, I grew up here. This wasn't even... Like, this doesn't serve any real purpose outside of just being dickheads. Yo, is that you, Jessel? Oh, you can actually see it. I never noticed that. You could see it from here. Jesus. I just, I just never thought you could actually see it. Damn. Okay. That's kind of dope. That's actually just really kind of fucking dope. Head to the east. Head to the Emerald Coast and visit. Uh, okay, so I got to head to the Emerald Coast. Got it. Well, at least I got my fucking horse. Yeah. I still got a horse. Damn. 
So they brought they brought a team they brought a they brought a crack team up here and just obliterated the fucking town. I mean, okay, I guess. Not really sure what that accomplishes. You didn't really do anything. You didn't kill me. So kill it so destroying the town certainly doesn't seem like it accomplished much outside of just being a bunch of assholes, but Evil is what evil does, I guess, and you gotta come up with some way to get the player to be invested because, let's face it, most people who play video games probably don't catch on to actual motives unless it's fucking thrown out in front of them. Yeah, sorry about that, but I'm really kind of annoyed with how people can be when it comes to these kind of things. How will I possibly know who the villain is unless they do terrible, terrible things? Ah. Subtext? What? What's that? Layered motivations? Nah, can't have that shit. Nah, have the villain do some like horribly villainous shit right off the gate. Really, really hammer it home. Can't, can't have our, can't, can't risk the idea that the player might accidentally relate to a villain. Because, you know, you're not supposed to relate to the villain after all. No, villains can't be relatable. Of course not. Gotta treat the, gotta treat the players like they're children. Can't possibly let them figure things out for themselves. Ugh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I, ugh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, this is Cobblestone Falls, right? This is it. Three side, three sided, three sided rock, huh? A th three sided, three sided rock. I guess I'll get out here. Fuck it. Get off. Yeah, that this is this is definitely a three-sided rock. You can't can't ar can't argue that. One there seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy, when finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escape to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the king of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I wish I'd known how things would turn out. 
I don't know why Gundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of him. Well, I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. So we've used the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King Sparrow is not too far from here. And just down the way, at that. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. Well, I guess by that logic, I probably should go claim it. And uh, I'll probably run into a save point at some point, because uh, this episode's wrapping on a little long. Even with the time I had to spend switching over save files and all that stuff between my light and this. Oh, new enemies. Nice. Sup? So, uh. Gloomy grublins. I mean, if you guys really want to do this, I'm down with it. Oh, okay. Though they took an 18 hit. That's... Oh, okay. Nice. Easy. Oh wow, 48 XP. Okay. Not complaining there. It looks like there is a a rest point not very far from here, so that's where we're heading next. We'll rest up, call this episode a day, and I got so many more videos I still gotta continue working on. Oh my god. So much work to do. Huh. That's a oddly, there's like, that's the only, why is there a red star in the sky? That just seems really ominous. Is that supposed to be there? Maybe it's like the North Star. Like, you know, like the, that one star in the sky, the North Star. At least in our culture. Maybe it's like that. Still fucking ominous though. All right, what, what's your gimmick? Ooh, okay. That's I maybe I'm a little bit over the top. That might that might potentially be a problem. I wasn't expecting to dispatch him so easily. Does this does this game have a bestiary? Is that a thing in this game? Cuz if it is, I might actually try to like find all Well, I don't mm, I don't know. I don't know if bestiaries are really much of a thing in these games. I haven't played a Dragon Quest game since like my little bit I played of eight, and eventually when I get to that, I'll probably see more of it. All right. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Why are you hitting Eric? Stop hitting Eric. Jesus. I wanna show the viewers I want to show people something cool. Stop it. Oh, did I just buy a bunch of Anadol herbs? Oh, God. I'm an idiot. All right. You know, it's fine. 
Nice, finally. So time to show you guys some pet power. This is the real decoy. I don't know if I showed this already though. Nice. Slime drop. Copper sword. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I can already see where I need to go from here. So we'll head over there. I want to kind of show off monsters, because I, I, I really do dig the monster designs in this game. I think they're so nice. And for a lot of them, they're they're really just 3D versions of monster designs that I remember in 2D. So, seeing them in in true form now, and the ones I got to see from 8, are it's kind of nostalgic. I kind of dig it. Uh, all right. Anyways, everybody, next time on Dragon Quest XI, we'll continue, and we need to uh, retrieve an orb that was uh, that our friend Eric here might have misplaced. Until then, guys, stay tuned. Shit, which one is it? I guess it's technically this one. There we go. Just in case. Just in case.